our today's topic, Jacob's children, the 12 tribes of Israel. And I'm going to tell you this. Since the birth of these boys, they have taken up the world stage until this day. The 12 tribes of Israel, the 12 boys of Israel. And there's a girl that we don't generally talk about, but we're going to look at the family tonight. So let's give attention to our screen. Jacob's children, the 12 tribes of Israel. The objective for tonight. At the end of today's session, each of us will be able to repeat at least seven of the boys' names born to Jacob and his one daughter. Everybody must at least know the one daughter's name. But I'm hoping that we can repeat at least seven of the boys' names. And we have a slide set up that should help us to know every one of them, the 12 of them. And I'm hoping we can achieve that tonight. That is the goal tonight, to know the names of every boy, each of the Israelites and their sister. The children of Israel that we'll be meeting tonight, we're going to be meeting Asher, we're going to meet Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, Ishakar, Zebulon, Joseph, and of course Benjamin right there, and of course Dinah. We are going to study these boys, we're going to look at their mothers, we're going to look at their birth, and then we're going to look at their names. And I would love for us to walk away tonight knowing everybody's name tonight. And I know you can do it. I really want to say that at least tonight we know the names. These are the boys from then to now and in the future till the book of Revelation come to a close. They have taken center stage around the world. Let's continue. So these are the children. These are the mothers. We have Leah. Leah had a maid, Zilpah, and Zilpah is also a mother. We got Rachel. And Rachel had a helper named Bila, and Bila is also a mother. So technically, we got four mothers for the Israelites. But we bring it down to Leah and Rachel. But it's really four. Well, considering the culture at the time, we keep that too. So Leah, between Leah and Zilpah, there'll be nine. And between Rachel and Bila, there's going to be four. And this is going to be the 13 children of Israel. Leah and Rachel, war for the children. And when I say war, I mean war. These two women were at each other like, wow, to have a child for Jacob. Let's look. And when the Lord saw that Leah was hated, remember now that Jacob loved Rachel. And so Leah was the one that was hated. God opened her womb, but Rachel was barren. So look at that, right? God is working with Leah. And not so much Rachel, the one that Jacob loved. And Leah conceived and bare a son, and she called his name Reuben. Do you remember Reuben being the firstborn? For she said, surely the Lord had looked upon my affliction. Now, therefore, my husband will love me. Can you imagine? How Leah felt married. And the man she married don't love her. The one he loved would be her sister. That's painful. She called it affliction. And Leah conceived again and bear a son and said, Because the Lord has heard that I was hated, he had therefore given me this son also. And she called his name Simeon. And she conceived again and bear a son and said, This no, this time will my husband join unto me, because I have borne him three sons. Therefore was his name called Levi. And from Levi, we're going to get the book of Leviticus. Now hold on. How many children so far? One, two, three. Now, if each child comes nine months apart, can you imagine how long Leah has been trying? To get Jacob to love her. Rachel not having any children. And so Leah is believing that having the children is going to bring the husband to her. And she keeps trying. 
and she conceive again and bear a son. And she said, no, will I praise the Lord. Therefore, she called his name Judah. And she stopped having children. Now, you notice that the first three children she had, she had them with the focus of Jacob on her mind. It's all about the boys, I mean, Jacob. But when she had Judah, she says, no, I, it went back to her and God. No, I will praise the Lord. Therefore, she called his name Judah. So when the focus came on her and God, her relationship with God, I'm not going to tell that she stopped thinking about Jacob because you're going to say that she did not. But this fourth time she says, you know, God, this is between me and you. And so she said, I will praise the Lord. And of Judah, you know, Christ is going to be born. Of Judah, we're going to have now the Jews. And of the Jews, we have now the Jewish religion. No wonder it is so because this is when Rich, um, Leah says, I will now praise my God. And out of that came the land of the tribe of Judah, Jesus Christ. And out of that came the Jewish religion, the Jews. All right. So when the Bible said that she left off bearing, it means you stop having children now. That's four gone. And the Bible said that she, she, she didn't have any more after a while. Now, when Rachel saw that she bear Jacob no children, she envied her sister, Rachel. Rachel is the one that Jacob loved. But she not having any children, so she, 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 she envied her sister. And she said unto Jacob, bro, come here, come here, come here. You need, you need to give me children or else I'm going to die. You, you need to you, you need to get you need to get some children for me. You need to give me children. <laughs> Jacob's get Jacob got angry and kindled. You know, <laughs> just get vile and start to style up Rachel and say, look here, you think so, my God? Men of God, a God make you have no a God make you have no children. Let me just say what him said. And he said, Am I in God said, who had withheld from thee the fruit of thy room? And on me. So you can't, you can't rush me, say, I must give you a child. And so we have this animosity between Leah and Rachel. And now Rachel turned on um, Jacob. So Rachel come up with a plan. Rachel said, tell you what? Behold, my maid, Bilha, go in unto her and she shall bear upon my knees that I may also have children by her. You remember um, Agar and Sarah? Cool. And she gave him Bila, her handmaid to wife, and Jacob went in unto her. And Bila conceived and bare Jacob a son. And Rachel said, God had judged me, and had also heard my voice, and had given me a son. Therefore, call his name Dan. Later on, we could discuss, right, if, if Rachel's commentary is something of substance, right? You know, she said that. This boy is hers, and God would have heard her voice, heard her cry, and had given her a son, and God would have judged her, you know, said that, okay, she's not guilty. Literally could have some discussion on that. Anyways, her boy is called Dan. And Bila, Rachel's maid, conceived again, and bear Jacob a second son. And Rachel said, with great wrestlings, have I wrestled with my sister, Leah, Leah, shut up, but no, you know, Leah. I've wrestled with my sister and I and I've prevailed because now I can have children. And she called his name Naphtali. She's not the one having the children. Bella is having the children. And she still focused on her, her sister, like, sister, I'm having children now. Even though they're not hers, hers, hers. But you know, they're hers. When Leah saw that she she stopped having children. Now, Marcus, she gone four, Rachel gone two. And she realized she's not having any more children. She said, okay, no problem, Rachel. No problem, Rachel. Let, let's, let's play your game. So she took Zilpah, her maid, and gave her to Jacob for his wife. And Zilpah, Leah's maid, bear um, Jacob a son. And Leah said, an army, a true comet. And she called his name God. And Zilpah, Leah's maid, bear Jacob a second son. And Leah said, Happy am I, for the daughters will call me blessed. And she called his name Asher. You notice how meanings are applied to names? 
they're applying the, the, the meaning to the names because of their circumstances and what they wanted to portray. So it's not the it's not the um it's not meaning that was there that, that we have a name for it. It's the, that once a child have a name, then they apply a meaning to it. So this is a contest now between Rachel and Leah. And Ruben, sorry. So now that was the situation between Leah and Rachel. Not finished yet. Not finished yet. Now, we have another issue here now, right? There's, a, there's this thing called mantric. It's said to be help with fertility, woman's fertility. It is so said. And Reuben, remember, she is the eldest son for Leah. And Reuben went in the days of wheat harvest and found mandrakes in the field and brought them unto his mother, Leah. Now, somehow they all knew about mandrake. You know, I guess Leah, um, I guess Reuben might have been the first pharmacist around town or the first druggist around town, but he knew that this thing could help with a woman's pregnancy. Then Rachel said to Leah, Leah, give me the mandrake that your son bring you. You remember, you remember, you remember Esau and Jacob, the desperation situation. So Rachel said to Leah, "Give me, I pray thee, of thy son's mandrake." So give me, give me something out of it. And she said unto her, Rachel is negotiating now, you know. Is it a small matter, Leah the quarrel, right? Is it a small matter that you have taken my husband and would us now take away my son's mandrake also? So you remember, you remember the, the Esau and Jacob situation? No, Leah is saying that you take my husband and now my son bringing now something for me, me produce children. You have to take that away from me too. And Rachel said, all right, tell her what. Therefore, he shall lie with you tonight. If you give me the mandrake, so I will send her or I'll send Jacob over to you. And, and you give, give me the mandrake, give me some of the mandrake, and, I, and I'll send him over tonight. Remember the Esau and Jacob? All right. And Jacob came out of the field in the evening, and Leah went out to meet him. Now, remember, now it's supposed to be heading over to Rachel's house. So Leah went out to meet him and said, You must come in unto me, for surely I are you. I have hired thee with my son's mandrake. I may pay for your sleeping over my house tonight. I have hired thee with my son's mandrakes. And he lay with her that night. Jacob never a choice. And God hearkened unto Leah, and she conceived and bare Jacob the fifth son. And Leah said, God had given me my hire. So I paid the wages, and it paid off. Because I have given my maiden to my husband, and she called his name Ishakar. So that's how Ishakar came, right? Came from a husband that was hired. And Leah conceived again, Mandrake working. And Leah conceived again and be a Jacob, the sixth son. And Leah said, God hath induced me with a good dowry man, money, payment. Now will my husband, do it. no, my husband is going to come live with me now. Remember, no, it's not, not your handmaiden doing this now. now. She'd have her child herself. And now she's a husband now that go with me. He's going to come live with me now because I've born him six sons. And she called his name Zebulon. And afterwards, she bear a daughter and called her name Dinah. So don't forget now that Dinah, Dinah's mother is Leah. After the six sons, so, 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 so Dinah would have been the seventh child for Leah. Right? Rachel's child. And God remembered Rachel, and God hearkened to her and opened her womb. And she conceived and bare a son. So the magic cracking over the word. And she conceived and bare a son and said, God had taken away my reproach. Because she felt badly. And she called his name Joseph and said, The Lord shall add to me another son. These are the children of. Israel. But that's the story how they all came about. That's the story how they came about. Now let's look on them, right? We got Asher. We got Reuben. We got Simeon. We got Levi. We got Judah. We got Dan. We got Naphtali. We got Gad. We have Ishakar. We have Zebulon. We have Joseph. We have Benjamin. And of course, we cannot leave out Dinah. Dinah is going to be featured in our story. Later on, the boys are not going to really 
almost kill of a whole nation because of she. So these are the names of the children. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna teach us the names tonight. I will teach us the names tonight. But well, let's look on them in a little bit more detail, right? So we got Reuben, we got Simeon, we got Levi, we got Judah, we got Ishakar, we got Zebulon. No, these are Leah's birth children. Then we got the children for Leah through Zilpah, which is God and Asher. So now remember now that Leah is also the mother for um for um Dinah, but we'll soon come on to her. So for Bilha and Rachel, right? So Bilha would have produced Dan and Naphtali. Rachel would have had Joseph and Benjamin. So this is what it looks like, right? So Dinah belongs to Leah. This would give us now nine children for Leah. And of course, we have now four for Rachel and Bilha. I'll show you another again uh, from another screen. These are the children. And yet from a different screen. So I'm going to show you now the order in which they were born. Starting from my left, the numbers are there. So the first born would have been Reuben. Second would have been Simeon. Then Levi. Then Judah. So after Judah, after Judah, right, we're going to jump over to Bilha right now. Just, just jump over to Bilha with me. I, I'll soon come on to Dan, all right? From, from there, Judah, we're going to go to the boy Dan, which is going to come now from Rachel's side. Then Naphtali, all right? Then let's jump back to Bilha. We got God. Then we have Asher. Then jump all the way back over to Leah. We got Ishakar and Zebulon. And let's jump back over to Rachel, where we got Joseph and Benjamin. And of course, we know that Dinah was there as a 13th child. So Jacob had 13 children. We're only focusing on the boys because of patriarchal community. These 12 boys are the reasons for where the world reached today. They are scattered around the world. And I cannot tell you all the places they be, but I could tell you this. Look at all the big new um, TV stations, especially the news channels, newspaper um, newspaper um, outlets. Check all of them. Um, diamond factories, the banks. Just go check them out who own these. Even Facebook. Go check who owns Facebook. And so the Israelite might seem to be in the land of Israel, but that's not true. Israelites are scattered around the world. And in a subtle way, yes, they are really influencing the world too. But let's continue here. Now, let us memorize the names. Let us memorize the names. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to do it by alphabet. So this is how you're going to do it, right? Work with me one by one. Just work with me, right? So if you say the alphabet A, there's an A. So if there's an A, there's an Asher. Now we have a B. We got a Benjamin. A, B, C, we don't have any C. We got a D, Dan. A, B, C, D, E, we don't have any E. We don't have any F. We got a G, which is God. H, we don't have any H. We got an I, which is Ishakar. We have a J, which is Joseph. And we have another J, which is Judah. So after J, K, L, no, we have a L, which is Levi. M, we don't have any M. We have a N, Naphtali, L M N O P Q. we don't have any of those. But we got a R, we got a Ruben. We got a S, Simeon. We don't have any T or U or V, but we got a Z, which is Zebulon. I'm saying use the alphabet and you get everybody correct. So I'm begging you know it. We're studying from Genesis, coming all the way up, and this is where we are. We are now at the birth of the Israelites, and they will not um, come to any form of expiration until the end of Revelation. So these are names that we're going to know because we're going to utilize them throughout the entire studies of Genesis, Exodus moving all the way up. All right? 